Jonathan asked us, are magnets safe to have on the body? You know, I haven't seen all the long-term studies. I know that magnets have been used for decades, if not well over, I think, 70 years in uh, Eastern Europe, maybe even before that, uh, and that there's a lot of scientific data that has been published. I think that one of the best experts that can talk about the data is Dr. William Pollock, uh, P-A-W-L-U-K. I, um, I'll share his website and the interview I did with him. Uh, he did not become an expert on magnet because he decided to use active magnets, which is, you know, PEMF to uh, research, um, especially how to heal non-union fractures. So fractures that are older than six months old and still won't, you know, glue together. So that's quite a long time to be in pain. I'll, I'll tell you that. And so far, PEMF is one of the only modalities in the world that can actually fix these non-union fractures in a large percentage of patients. So it's something promising when it comes to magnet, what is the difference? It's a little bit more passive, but there is good evidence that there are healing properties. For me, I wouldn't you know, worry a lot about using magnets, especially if it's not to the head or main organs. Uh, for example, I use a PMF on my knees, on joints. I think it's a much safer use than uh, kind of blasting your face with it 24 seven, like some people maybe could go overboard. However, I did get tremendous results using PEMF for shorter duration, 15, 20 mm -hmm. minute sessions here and there on sinuses. When I get a sinus infection, that's not the first thing I'm going to do. And in rare occasions, other body parts, but it's, uh, it's tough to talk about very long-term safety because these remain artificial fields. Uh, I think that you could go overboard with it and not let the body rest. However, I found tremendous benefits when applied to uh, a wound, uh, especially joints or something, a muscle strain. Uh, mm -hmm. And then in rare occasions, infections, it looks like it's, it's, it's primarily through the increase in microcirculation that it's really helping the body. But I personally would not use it for like, 20 hours per day on my brain. I, I don't know the long-term effect, but you know, if there's a specific reason you're using it, then I think it's uh, something to consider uh, using. Yeah. I agree completely, Nick. And that's, that's kind of the same viewpoint that like Dr. Robert O'Becker expressed in his research um, with, with his, uh, with his research on PEMF. And in many yeah. ways, he's the father of PEMF research. And that, and that like, he was the one experimenting on salamanders and sh showing how they could regrow limbs and with, with voltage and different pulsed electromagnetic frequencies. And, uh, and I agree. And I think Dr. Jack Cruz agrees as well. Like yep. he talks about that a lot as like, and I, and I agree because for me, everything's like in this framework of an ancestral perspective and I love technology. I want us to be able to use, use technology to our benefit but we have to use it within a respectful framework of where our biology came from. And so for me, the foundations of energetic frequency-based medicine or healing is grounding sun, protect against the stressors that are modern stressors, and then, uh, and then enhance all the, all the natural frequencies and match them as, as much as we can in our environment and our artificial environments that we've created. That's why we're switching the lighting inside people's houses. That's why we're blocking the, the pulsating elect electricity. That's why we're talking about grounding. That's why we're talking about getting enough sun. That's why we're talking about getting nutrient dense whole foods, which foods are a type of frequency that you're putting literally putting into your body. And it's creating structure in your body that creates antennas that will resonate and send signals back and forth between organs and tissues and cells. And so, we like your, the structure of your cells needs to be intact so that it can communicate and send out clear signals to other parts of the body. That's what happens while we sleep is your body is tuning into itself and sending frequencies back and forth as maintenance mechanisms to check in and see how you're doing at night and what needs to be healed and what kind of hormones need to be produced and, and like which kind of healing mechanisms actually need to be activated at night. And so the idea of PMF is that we can sometimes those frequencies shut down in your body and you can reactivate them and get, get cells to wake up like, Oh yeah, this is supposed to like, you, you put it on your sinuses and it, it starts to wake up and be like, okay, this, 
pay attention to this and it'll like start to, your body will start to activate its own healing. And so um, the concern with doing PEMF on a more, I would say chronic or like consistent basis is that it's not natural. It's, you don't know when you need to stop. That's why it makes sense to, to do it for a specific reason for a specific amount of time, because the studies also show that it'll, it'll help like regrow cells but there's a concern and there was studies that showed that like, if you have cancer, it will actually help to reproduce cancer cells as well. So that's why like in, in uh, Dr. Robert O. Becker's research, it was like, okay, we want to regrow bone and it does increase circulation to this area where you can, if you're having circulation problems, you can help recirculate things to the whole body, but it's not a continual solution. You need to, you need to figure out the other reasons why the body's not circulating well. And once yeah. the bone is healed, you don't need to use the PEMF anymore because the bones healed. So um, you don't want to risk growing cells that shouldn't be growing or paying attention to an area of the body that's not injured just because you have a part of the body that is injured. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. You know, I am the co-creator of the EMF circle along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our circle members. Every month we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q and A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.